Crackle, the principal here at Elder Elementary, and I'm excited to take you on a tour today to show you some of the awesome safety measures that we put in place to keep your students safe and healthy when we return to campus. Come on inside, let's take a look. One of the things that you'll notice when you first step up to the door is that we have a new camera and intercom system. If you come to check your student out early, Mrs. Rincon will visit with you through that before allowing access into the building. We also have the COVID screener questions here and she'll be asking you those before letting one parent in at a time for dismissal. When you come into our campus, you'll notice that we have plexiglass up. That's to protect our staff and you as well. We also have hand sanitizer by the door. Everyone is required to wear a mask when coming into the building and we have those available. We also have a staff sign-in sheet for district employees um, with pens available that have been cleaned versus those that have been used. We have our traffic patterns marked for the cafeteria so that students are coming in one area and then they're exiting out a different area when they leave. Lunchtime is a time where our students can be mask free and visit with their friends, but we do have our tables labeled so that when they're sitting, they are appropriately social distanced apart. We also have social distancing marked on the floor so that as they're entering into the cafeteria doors, they're standing six feet apart. All of our restrooms, we have every other stall blocked off for student safety. Also, for our hand washing area, we have one sink available. The other one is blocked off so that we are able to social distance students. And we have signage posted around the campus reminding students to wash their hands and wear their mask. You'll notice that our water fountains are blocked off. We will not be using those in an effort to stop the spread of germs. So we're encouraging our students to bring water for them that will last throughout the day. And we will have water available for those that need it. We're in the process of converting this room into a room that will be used as a COVID room for students who exhibit COVID-like symptoms. This room is near an exit in case that student has to go home quickly. We have access to an exit door. It also has a restroom nearby for that student to use. We're in the process of converting this room into one of our rooms that will be used as a relocation room. Should we have to move students out of a room that needs to be disinfected into a room where they can continue to learn with their teacher until their classroom is clean and ready. Drop off will be at the back of the school again this year. Students will come into the building and if they need breakfast, they will get their breakfast and head straight to their classroom. If they don't need breakfast, they'll go to their classrooms where monitors will be waiting to watch them until school starts. Many parents have asked about recess and recess will definitely be a part of our day. We will bring our students outside as weather permits. We have a pretty large playground, so we'll be able to separate our students out by class. One grade level at a time will be outside. We'll have structured activities for the students as the first six weeks we won't be using the equipment. Our music and PE teachers will be bringing students out for classes as weather permits to the playground. Thank you for going on this tour with us today. We're excited to welcome your students back. Our theme this year is oceans, so we'll see everybody back on August 31st and we'll navigate through these uncharted waters together.